Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Scott. I'm Machine Gun Dad. Somewhere along here, I'm supposed to say hit the like button and subscribe if you like the content. I am not very good at that. It almost sounds like I'm begging you to watch my videos, but hey, let's move on. Affordable NFA. NFA guns, i.e. machine guns, have become stupid money. Um, and don't think I'm uber rich because you see machine guns on my wall. A lot of these guns are post samples and one day I'll do a video comp showing the difference between them. But this is an original Colt 635 lower. I'm going to need to turn this around and show it to you here. I don't know if David will be able to pick that up or not. All right. If you could find one of these that was transferable, this is a sample. I paid $100 for this receiver, but if it was transferable, it'd be twenty-five dollars to $30,000. So, unless you have a dealer's license or you're uber rich, you're probably not going to be able to afford this and get this nice little 9mm submachine gun. So what do you get instead? I still love this little distance. Well, a lot of people go, well, I'm just going to put a pistol brace on it. And that's not me. I, I, I don't like pistol braces. I have enough ARs that if I want to make an SBR or register an SBR, that's the way I'm going to go. And that's what I've done. This is a Colt SBR. This is a registered Colt M4 carbine that was registered as a short barreled rifle with a 9mm kit in it. This is actually built for my son. So I built this whole gun. Actually, this Palmetto State Armory is going to go back on here for about 700 bucks. 25,000, 700 bucks. Now you do have to pay the $200 stamp. What do I get with this? Well, I get an actual rifle, not a pistol pretending to be a rifle or a rifle pretending to be a pistol. This is how the 635 originally came. I like the 635 upper. Uh, we were gonna leave this as is, but this barrel's got tens of thousands of rounds on it full auto, so it's getting right from this to get a little light, so we bought the other upper. What's nice is I can just take the upper off of this and drop it on here, and my son has a rail with a red dot, and I can go back to the old school. I'll have to turn change the furniture out. The whole point is this gives you everything but the fun button and if you put one of those um, Fosgate is it Fosgate I think it's Fosgate um, binary triggers in this you get pretty darn close to the effect of this now that's gonna add another couple hundred dollars but still you're under a thousand dollars also because I got this nice size and we'll show this in a video. I unscrew the muzzle device and I put on my suppressor and I have a really nice suppressed 9mm rifle. The point is, I would like to see more people buy NFA. NFA and because of the, the new money coming into the collector's market is out of the price of what I would consider the entry-level buyer. But by buying something like this or building and registering something like this, even though you have to register it with the, gov the feds, you get into NFA, you start to understand the paperwork, and if you put a binary trigger, you almost get the same effect as you do with the select fire gun. But then you can get into suppressors and run suppressors on these guns, and we will sh we'll shoot them both this way and this way. One of the things I should say is, this gun, if you can see, it has a regular magwell on it. The reason it has a regular magwell on it is the insert is in this gun. I only have one insert. I've got I've got to order another one. I can basically take everything but the receiver in this gun and put it on an SBR. I don't get the full auto features, but I get everything else. So affordable NFA, SBR. Affordable NFA, a suppressor. This is a um, Coastal Guns MIM suppressor with the interchangeable interface. This barrel is the correct half by um, 36 thread that Colt used on the 9mm. This one, Palmetto, is a half by 28. I have a different interface. I can put 
this can on this upper. I want people to enjoy the hobby. I want more people to come into the hobby because when my generation's gone, if there's not any younger people to keep it around, that gives the government an excuse to take it away from you. We'll be out in the range in a few minutes. All right, we're back. We're gonna take this SBR for a test drive. Um, just 20 rounds in the 20 round mag to make YouTube happy. Just to see, show you that it does work, and it's a great way to NFA without going broke. So, what I got with me, let's see what pocket I put it in, there it is, is a 20 round Colt mag. And yes, it still doesn't take Glock mags. It never freaking will. Let's give this thing a whirl. It's amazing how the sun washes out my front sight. Got a failure to eject, but I'm okay with that because this ammo was made, oh, I bought it 20, 25 years ago, and I have the heavy buffers, XL buffer in here. So sometimes you get that. that. To me, that's no big deal. Also, the heavy buffer allows me to run a can when there's back pressure and I don't have to do anything special. All right, we're gonna shoot it with a can in a little bit. I got my uh, Coastal Guns suppressor. This is the one I actually run on, the, on this when it was a machine gun. 147 grain subsonic ammo from National Bullet. National Bullet went out of business over 20 years ago. So I don't know if this ammo is going to be hot enough to even run this gun. But we'll find out. I'm not wearing earmuffs because why, why should you have to wear earmuffs if you're shooting suppressed? Boy, you don't realize how loud that bolt closing is when, <laughs> until you take your earmuffs <laughs> off. <laughs> Alright, let's give this a whirl here. Now, just for your information, we didn't turn the boom mic off on, so hopefully that came through. And if on the ones you I hit the steel, which is about 50 yards away, you could hear it. Affordable NFA, no Glock mags. Thanks for coming to my channel.